You learned what RSS feeds were tonight. No, you I learned didn't. about Gangnam Style. No, I didn't. Okay. Sorry. Oh, you was. Oh, I see. It's an interesting mistake you made. You assume I'm listening. Live from the UCB Theater in New York. It's seven second delay. Everybody clap. With our guest, DC Pearson, a very funny man who's coming late, so you don't have to clap right now. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant we would we would pose ourselves by the front door of the theater and shoot people in the chest with as a t-shirt gun as they came in. That's a good idea, too. Chris Baker, a viral media kingpin, if such a thing is possible. Everybody clap. Ken, I don't know what to say to Chris. All right, okay. Everyone at school who plays, like they start singing Num Gum Nin Style. Eh. And Chris Cohen, a very talented singer-songwriter and Jew from Vermont. Everybody clap! Um, something happened, and um, yeah, she puked on his, you know, his shoes. So we're back here in, in two weeks yeah. with uh, Buck Henry, the writer. Yeah. Did your sister ever puke on him? But we begin with the first ever seven-second delay presidential debate. What was the question again? <laughs> you have 38 seconds. Will seven-second delay ever be funny? I think it's very, very possible. A man's reach should exceed his grasp, of course. Well, and Andy, our first guest is the brand new creative director of the viral media site BuzzFeed. Well, he, now, you're one of my heroes, Ken, mm -hmm. and this guy is one of your heroes. He is. So that means that this guy is vicariously one of my heroes, I've, although I've never heard of him. He wrote The Elements of Effin Style, and uh, he's the creator of the popular website Unbaby Me. Yes. Please welcome Chris Baker. Then, so it's a prank. No, it's prank. a very, it's a very useful tool. It's a service. <laughs> and how? Who? We're fixing the internet. Do people get? Yeah, you're fixing. Yeah, the internet. he's fixing the <laughs> Do internet. people get? You're removing all those cute babies from the all those. And it could be used to remove babies. cats, yes. right? You could tweak it so that it removed all the cats. Food pictures, cats, uh, political posts, anything you want. All you have to do is edit the keywords, and it will scan for those and delete. So my dream of a cat-free internet is really not so far-fetched. As at least in your in your Facebook newsfeed. One minute. Seven second delay over the last 35 or 40 years or so has become entrenched in anti-comedy. Um, I want to change that. I want to bring the program back to actually being humorous um, and actually employing tactics of comedy, punchlines, jokes, and saying actual funny things. Um, I beseech the audience to boo Andy Breckman with all the love in your heart um, and make me president of the show um, and I will, for once, bring the show back to humor. Can I ask Ken a very quick question, a serious question? Are you drunk right now? Uh, <laughs> he's the author of the award-winning book, The Boy Who Couldn't Sleep and Never Had To. He's part of the sketch comedy group Derek Comedy. He's been on Weeds, Community, and has a new movie with Andy Samberg called The To-Do List. Please I welcome yeah. DC Pearson. So the, Crab Kingdom, tell us. Yes, uh, it's a, Crab Kingdom is a young adult book that is also uh, <laughs> able to be... <laughs> You just laughed at the idea of a young adult book, no, um, which is fair. Um, so it's a controversial title. I was told that librarians might not like it, and I said, well, let's do it anyway. It was like Whoa. that scene in Citizen Kane where he's like writing up his like statement of principles, except I just wrote the word crap on a big piece of paper, and I was like, take this to the librarians. And then they wept. Um, Candidates, please name your pets and explain to our listeners why they deserve to be first pet. Andy? Oh, I can play on the sympathies. of the. I can pull on their heartstrings. We had a uh, fish that died last week, Quinn. Sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Upside down at the bottom of the tank. That's how we found him. His name, his name was, uh, well, I'll tell you, we had a fish um, four years ago named Homie. The kids named him. And then that, that fish died, and then our next fish was named uh, New Homie. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this last fish, the one that just passed, was named Another New Homie. <laughs> so if cute kids mean anything, I think I've got this one now. Do it. 
There's nothing there below you. Ken? I don't think it's a coincidence that Andy Breckman is a serial pet killer. <laughs> um, I have a cat named Dr. Booty Grabber, a dog named Olive, and a, and a dog named Rooster. They're all in perfect health. Uh, funny additional story, but in addition to the uh, fish that Andy Breckman has murdered in cold blood, um, Andy's dog, Maisie, uh, was once left outside during a very deep freeze in New Jersey uh, when Andy took the entire family uh, to shelter to a place with warmth, and the dog um, yeah. developed frostbite and was only rescued by Andy's next-door neighbor. Um, I think it's pretty clear what would happen to seven-second delay um, <laughs> if Andy Breckman remains president of the program. I fear that it would be the same fate as all of his pet fish have suffered. For no reason whatsoever, I'd like to point out that's an absolutely true story. <laughs> a really cool project, uh, the world's most exclusive website, where you tried to rickroll Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah. How did so, that work? So this was last year. Uh, I don't know if you guys are on Twitter at all, but you've probably noticed uh, the little blue verified badges that celebrities have. Uh, and these badges are only given out to like the socially significant. So Lady Gaga has one, Kim Kardashian, Justin Bieber has one. So we made this website that was just a, a, a door on like a black screen and it said log in with your verified Twitter. Um, and so we put this out and if you didn't have a verified badge and you went to the site, uh, it said, you know, you don't meet the requirements, we're gonna send you to somewhere where you might have better, better luck getting in it. And it redirected your browser to the olivegarden.com. Uh, <laughs> um, and a funny story about that, so the Olive Garden, like all great restaurant websites, had autoplay music on it, and we had copy uh, when you got that message that said, after that, enjoy the music. What's in the lost and found? Don't look today. A painted souvenir. The words about to fade away. Nighttime, you toss and turn and walk the floor. Make memory selection from the fullness of before. You're doing a show tonight at this very theater that we at are sitting in now, broadcasting yes. from. On this very stage. On this very stage. In like an hour from now. Yes. So what we wanted to know is like you probably have a whole bunch of fans outside right now waiting for your show. Yes, if can my we, can fans are disgruntled Gristidi's employees, <laughs> angrily chain-smoking and going, oh, I work here, <laughs> then yes. And, uh, but people could head down here now. If they left now, they could be here by This is the clock. closest I've ever been to being in like a radio party van. We're like, come on down, we're giving away t-shirts. <laughs> if you, the, the, the secret word is fart hammer. Yeah. If you come down and say, if fart hammer is also the name of their weird little like sidekick guy that they send around and like prank and stuff. I don't know where we're going now. Uh, I work closely with our music booker, Mike Noble, and the WFMU music director, Brian Turner. Um, I also consult with uh, the younger generation, specifically some of Andy's children. Funny story about Andy's daughter, Julie. Um, she has been historically a very, very big music fan. Um, she's very fond of musicals, and in particular, uh, Grease. Um, however, on Julie's 10th birthday, um, Andy used leather strapping to strap her to the uh, dinner furniture as punishment for not stopping watching Grease under Andy's orders. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is the kind of person who is uh, now a hair away from remaining president of Seven Second Delay for the next term. Andy, do you have a response? Only the fact that there's no truth at all in that makes that not an interesting story. Uh, uh, Julie, wait a minute, what, is that true about Grease? No, here's how I remember it. <laughs> Julie was at the dinner table, and she kept getting up and, and wiggling around. And then I playfully, I playfully said, oh, man, we need seatbelts at this table. And I playfully, lovingly 
strapped her to the chair. <laughs> that, that is not how Dyfus wrote it up in their report. Can you describe it in, in a line or two? Uh, crap, I just burped into the microphone. <laughs> That's going out uh, to the whole tri-state area and across the world. Um, a crap Kingdom is about a kid who loves like fantasy and Harry Potter and uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and stuff like that. And anything where a kid is like a chosen one in a fantasy universe. And he finds out that he himself is a chosen one in a fantasy universe. But it turns out that the fantasy universe in which he's the chosen one is just really, really, really crappy. It's really bad. <laughs> and then so he kind of goes like, uh, nope. And then it turns out there's all sorts of negative consequences that come from that. And he has to go redeem himself and go back into the fantasy world and stuff like that. So it's a fun comic adventure uh, that can be enjoyed uh, by all ages, much like the burp that I just had. Into the anyway, so once you, once you could get into the site, if you are a celebrity and, and have a verified badge, you're greeted with another door. And it says, please proceed if you have 5,000 followers. And that goes all the way up to 10 million. So there are 10 rooms. Um, so you're always trying to get into the more exclusive green room. Right, right. And how, and how far has anyone gotten on Kim Kardashian side? logged into the seventh room. Uh, <laughs> so Kim Kardashian actually went to the trouble. <laughs> she actually oh. logged in three times. Like we, we had a way to check how many times someone logged in. Uh, and when she tried to get into the eighth room, uh, some, some copy appeared that said, you do not meet the requirements for entry. Please remain here until you are more popular. <laughs>
One final booing. Who do you really not want to become president of the show? Boo if this person is Andy. And boo if this person is Ken. Okay. I'm. I'm going to have to say that Andy is now the president okay. of the show. I'll Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, but, Ken, you remain a heartbeat away. And uh, don't go too far. I'm, I'm overweight and don't exercise. That heart could go out anytime. Got it. Okay.